Long known as a state friendly to business and with a rich history of aviation, Delaware is committed to the development of the burgeoning unmanned aircraft systems or UAS industry within the state. The Delaware UAS Task Force was established in 2015 and held its first official meeting in December of that year. The task force is made up of individuals representing a wide variety of interests from the government, academic, and private sectors, all with an interest in the growth and sustainability of safe and practical applications for drone aircraft. Its purpose is to establish and maintain a positive growth environment for the UAS industry in Delaware. Ultimately, the state hopes to establish a realistic incubator for new technology. The following are just a few examples of practical drone applications already being explored. University research and operator training programs, agriculture, environmental inventories, aerial observation and infrastructure inspection such as bridges, utilities, communications towers, pipelines, landfills, open mines and quarries, and raw material stockpiles, 3D mapping, law enforcement and firefighting, emergency medical care, cinematography, news gathering, sporting events, professional drone racing, hobbyists and recreation, and the development of safety enhanced drone parks for public recreation. Delaware Technical Community College is at the forefront of developing meaningful UAS operator programs and understanding how drone aircraft will be used to enhance university research and various sectors of private industry. Delaware Tech's mission is to provide high quality programs for creating training and educational opportunities for students. We're responsive to labor market and create programs that meet the demands of industries such as agriculture, real estate, medical health. Drones provide the government and private firms an economical tool for conducting environmental inventory data gathering and potential impacts on sensitive areas with unprecedented safety and protection for both the environmental assets as well as the human operators. They can save us a lot of money, they can make us more efficient, they can save lives in, in terms of not putting uh, humans in harm's way. Delta is trying to be a, a leader in that regard because we, we are currently evaluating uh, ways that, that drones can fit into our business model to, to make us more efficient, save the taxpayers money, and possibly save lives as well. There's incredible growth potential for the use of drones to provide affordable inspections for a wide array of essential infrastructure. A traditional bridge inspection can cost well over a half million dollars and place human inspectors at great risk for personal injury. While an unmanned aerial drone can accomplish the same task at a fraction of the cost and with greatly enhanced safety for the inspectors. The other two areas that are probably more in line with what Keystone's looking at doing is for inspection uh, of bridges, uh, cell phone towers, any kind of uh, infrastructure, people are not going to die using a drone to inspect the bridge. It's just not going to happen. It, they're inherently safer and that's a huge benefit. Unmanned aircraft systems are being used to acquire three-dimensional mapping data that is not financially feasible for traditional manned aircraft operations. For mapping for smaller areas where a manned aircraft was just way too expensive to fly, a drone may be a perfect alternative. Plus you're also getting extremely high resolution will be perfect for creating imagery, height models, 3D modeling, contours and such. Countless applications are being developed to support law enforcement and firefighting activities, which will enhance public safety as well as the safety of personnel. Development of emergency medical care applications are underway, which cut the time of arrival and provide life-saving emergency intervention until paramedics arrive and transport victims. News reporting and real-time traffic reporting are already benefiting from affordable aerial information gathering. Filmmakers and videographers now have an unprecedented ability to safely acquire ultra-high definition imagery at a budget-friendly price point. It's believed that aerial drone coverage of sporting events will eventually replace traditional aerial camera platforms such as helicopters and blimps. And just as Delaware has become known as a home to NASCAR, the task force is looking into opportunities of establishing a venue for the growing market of professional drone racing. The task force is working to develop a strong public outreach, promoting safety among hobbyists and recreational operators. This also includes the possibility of developing parks specifically equipped and set aside for safe recreational drone operations. We developed a tethered drone flight control system, so we've spent most of our time focusing on how to uh, 
create positive control over the drone from the ground using a high strength line. We believe that the tether is one way to, to socialize drones and ensure public benefit with maximum safety. Ultimately, it is believed that Delaware's tradition as a business-friendly location for corporate growth will lead to Delaware becoming an incubator for UAS design, development, and manufacturing. The sky truly is the limit for this rapidly changing industry in Delaware. For more information, please contact 303-458-1000.